Krishna Radha Mataji, Dandavat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to Guru Maharajas, and all glories to the assembled devotees. This is Tiffany in Pennsylvania. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Tiffany Mataji, Dandavat Pranam, all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining the call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, all glories to Srila Prabhupada and Guru Mataji. My humble obeisance is to you and all the devotees. This is Krishna Kumari Devidasi from Rana. Hare Krishna, Krishna Kumari Mataji, Danvat Pranam, always to Srila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining the call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Danvat Pranam, Srila Prabhupada. This is Srila Prabhupada. This is Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Shama Gauri Mataji, Dhanavad Pranam, Alvam Shri Shila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining the call. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Radha Mataji, Dhanavad Pranam, all glory to Shila Prabhupada. This is Vinita Gandharvika Devidasi from Dekha. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Vinita Gandharvika Mataji, Dhanavad Pranam, Alvam Shri Shila Prabhupada. Thank you so much, Mataji, for joining the call. Hare Krishna. ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಮೆಲ್ Hare Krishna Mataji, this is Rajiv from Washington, D.C., Dunbar Pada. Thank you for organizing this call. Hare Krishna Prabhuji, Dhanavad Pranam Alvishu, Srila Prabhuji, thank you so much Prabhuji for joining the call. Hare Krishna. ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಂಘ ಕಾನ್ಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ ಟು ಹಾವ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಮಂತ್ ಋತು ದಾಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಟು ಎನ್ಲೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಆನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಧನ್ವತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭಾತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಗುರುದೇವ್ Um, before I, ha- I hand our call to you, I would like to hand our call to Praveen Govind Prabhuji for brief introduction of Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Praveen Govind Prabhuji, please accept the call Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, my Dhanvat Pranams to all the devotees in the call. His Grace Kratu Maharaj is a disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. He has been preaching all across the world. and maharaj has disciples in india america canada and various other places around the world maharaj and mata amrita keli were initiated by shila prabhupa in toronto in 1977 following the most important instructions of shila prabhupa maharaj made spreading the teachings of lord chaitanya the prime aim of his life at a very early age despite receiving higher education and a job maharaj followed the instructions of shila prabhupada and started preaching around the globe round the clock he visited different countries every year and conducts bhakti retreats bhajan sandhyas kirtan melas and other devotional activities he is the author of the book sadhu sangha which is a compilation of evidences very proofs from scriptures as well as his life experiences the importance of vaishnava and devotees maharaj became a full time devotee in iskon when shila propada asked him one day how much are you doing for your body and how much are you doing for your soul 
Maharaj told him that he was an engineer. Srila Prabhupada instructed him, there are many engineers, you become a preacher. Hare Krishna, my Dhanvat Pranams to Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for a brief introduction of Prabhuji. Hare Krishna, Sriman Krutoja, Sadhikari Prabhuji, Danvat Pranam, Shushila Prabhupada. Thank you very much for giving your valuable time and association to us this morning and enlightening on the topic of Srimad Bhagavata. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji, I would like to hand our call to you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <coughs> <coughs> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chayva Narutamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraye Nasta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttam Sloke Bhakti Rabhavati Naistiki Grantra Srimad Bhagavata Skand Paj Chapter Number What is the chapter? And it is Lok Sankhya 14, text number 14. Aho nu van so yes sahavadata praiva praya vratu yatra puman purana kutavatara purusha sadhya chachara dharmam yad karma hitum Translation, translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta, Swami, Srila Prabhupada. Oh, what shall I say of the dynasty of Priyavrat, which is pure and very much celebrated? In that dynasty, the Supreme Person the original personality of Godhead descended as an incarnation and executed religious principles that could free one from the results of fruitive activities. Purput. There are many dynasties in human society wherein Supreme Lord descends as an incarnation. Lord Krishna appeared in the Yadu dynasty and Lord Ramchandra appeared in the Iswaku dynasty or Raghu dynasty. Similarly, Lord Vrishabhadev appeared in the dynasty of King Priyavrat. All these dynasties are very famous and of them the dynasty of Priyavrat is most famous. So very sweet and so purport. <clears throat> Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Jnana Salakaya Chakshur Unmilitamina Tasmai Sri Guru Venamaha Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishta Stapitam Yanaprutale Swayam Rukkada Maya Dadati Swapadam Tikam 
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवास आदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय ताम सुरुत पंगुर मुंद मथे गति मर्वश्य पादाम भोज शिशिराधा मदन मोहन दिव्य वृंदारण्य कल्प द्रुमाद श्रीमद रत्नागार सिंहा समस्त श्रीमद राधा श्री लघुविंद देव कृष्ण आलिवी श्री विमान स्मरा सीमान रास रसारंभी वंशी वट तट स्थित कर्षण वेणु स्वनैर गोपी गोपीनाथ श्रीस्त नंचा कल्प तरुभ्य कृपा सिंधु पति नाम पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम वृंदय तुलसी दिव्याय प्रियाय केशव विष्णुभक्ति पद देवी सत्यवृत्याय नमो नम अनंतकोटि वैष्णव की जय ग्रंथ्रमदागवता की जय ट्रांसलेशन ओ What shall I say of the dynasty of Priyavrat, which is pure and very much celebrated? In that dynasty, the supreme person, the original personality of Godhead, descended as an incarnation and executed religious principles that could free one from the results of fruitive activity. नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्णपृष्ठा भूतल श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषवादी पाश्चात्य देश तारिणे सो एक्चुअली दी चैप्टर इज डिस्क्राइबिंग दी transcendental activities of lord rushabadev rushabadev appeared in the dynasty of king priyavrat so uh, king priyavrat uh, in this particular words king priyavrat dynasty is very much glorified priyavat maharaj who was a son of manu and manu was a son of lord brahma so brahma being prajapati he wanted to increase the populace of this planet so uh, he is one of the prajapati brahma ji so <coughs> brahma ji had a son called manu and manu maharaj had a son uh, called priyavrat elder brother and itan pat who is younger brother But maharaj priyavrat was right from beginning a very exalted uh, pure devotee of supreme personality of god and sri krishna so so uh, he was uh, instructed by narada muni that he should not Uh, get into all this um, maya jal uh, of this material world entanglement from this material world in other words not to marry and get into uh, veins of mind in this chapter sukadev goswami had question 
Sukhdev, I mean, Parikshit Maharaj had questioned Sukhdev Goswami. And Sukhdev Goswami was answering that this entanglement in material world, uh, because, uh, the root cause of the entanglement is material mind. So uh, he preached quite a bit about uh, mind and how even uh, Saubari Muni uh, got victim, the pre-victim to his mind, lusty desires. Mind is full of lusty desires, anchoring and lamentation. So not to trust mind, he says, uh, uh, so he preached to him about renunciation. Narada Muni preached him about renunciation. And uh, uh, that's why he did not want it to get entangled in these uh, worldly affairs, kingdom and queens and progeny and whatnot. And he wanted to uh, hit for the hills. He wanted to go to jungles and become like a mendicant and not to, not to uh, trust his own mind. The mind is restless enemy if he is not in his in Krishna's service. Uh, it, it becomes uh, it becomes stumbling block to our spiritual progress. The very definition of mind, I have written one book called Reams of Mind, beautiful book. Uh, so in that I have defined the mind as a constant flow of thoughts. It's like a river. The river is a continuous constant flow of water. So a constant flow of thoughts is called mind. And these thoughts are created by the contacting contact of senses, material senses, with the sense object. That's where the thought is created. We have five knowledge acquiring senses. And this acquiring senses context the corresponding object of uh, their <coughs> like. Uh, you can hear properly or not? Uh, why don't you put your phone from there? Yeah. So uh, that is mind, a, a, a constant flow of thoughts. And the thoughts are created by the contact of senses with the sense object. And for example, the eyes are uh, dwelling on some beautiful uh, girl, uh, then naturally, the thoughts will be created. It may be pious thought or impious. But because the object of sense is in front of you, uh, the thought will create in, in, a, in a devotee, sadhu, who eyes are contacting a beautiful girl, uh, he will think about how he can impart uh, Krishna consciousness onto her and so forth. He will think about preaching and and uh, if some materialist lusty desires will see a beautiful girl. He will think about how uh, he can um, uh, enjoy uh, marry or whatever. So Different thoughts are created by uh, different personalities who have 
different uh, level of understanding, different level of uh, purified senses. So this is mind. Mind is a constant flow of thoughts and thoughts are created by matras, parsas, to kamteya, sitoshna, sukha, dukhada. Matras, parsa. That the senses are contacting sense object. And by that, the thoughts are created. Matras, parsa. So uh, then these thoughts are vigorously coming to our mind. The ears listening to uh, pious, impious things and creates a thought, especially in pious. And eyes create, contacting impious objects and creating uh, thoughts, impious thoughts. And so is nose and tongue and skin. So this is five material senses are pulling his spirit soul in five different directions. And uh, spirit soul becomes teared apart. Just like a, a, a example is given a chariot is uh, drawn by five horses in five directions and the chariot will become total intense. So the mind and senses are pulling in five directions. The mind becomes intense. It becomes tense, and the mind is mind is pulled in five directions, and tension is created. So this is mind, games of mind. So mind uh, is a restless, uh, always thinking, mostly of, of dirty things, most mostly of sense gratification, mostly how to enjoy material sense, uh, sense object, material senses, and material uh, object of the sense we say. So this is a constant flow of thought, it's called mind. If our senses, uh, if the senses are contacting pure objects, all five senses, then no tension is created and then it is very purified uh, uh, thoughts comes to the mind and by mind remains peaceful. So the more vigorous thoughts comes to the mind, the more uh, uh, mind becomes polluted. It is compared in that book, Whims of Mind, that it is like a river. A river is a constant flow of water. Mind is a constant flow of thoughts. If the river in monsoon season is very uh, vigorously flowing, then the water is muddy. So mind, if thoughts comes very vigorously from all senses, then mind, mind becomes dirty, polluted. Just like river in monsoon season, very speedy and vigorous. And in the summer season, mind, uh, the river is very cool, flowing very slowly. The water is very crystal clear. You can see the bottom even. So because it is flowing very, uh, very slowly, the water is very crystal clear. So similarly in mind, thought comes very, very slow, steady and pure then the mind becomes totally pure, transcendental, if the object of senses are transcendental, the mind becomes transcendental. Because it's a constant flow of thoughts. So, um, uh, this mind has to be trained properly in Krishna consciousness. So that is what Maharaj Priyavrata was into. He did not, he did not want to get married and get into entanglement. So much kingdom, so many queens, 
so many sons. So he hid for the hills, meaning he 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 wanted to be renounced, uh, just uh, no indulging in material life, marriage life. So then Lord Brahma is for his grandfather. He comes and preaches to Maharaj Priyavrat that uh, you should marry. Uh, uh, actually, Narad Muni preached to him. Narad Muni was his uh, guru. Uh, and he preached to him how he should not get entangled in this material world. So he wanted to renounce. But uh, Brahma, Manu, they wanted him to uh, engage in, uh, in, in kingdom, king, and Grastasana. So, uh, uh, Priyavat Maharaj, uh, he is being a pure devotee, preached by Narad Muni. Uh, he had, he was fixed. Consciousness, instant of Brahma. Uh, Brahma instructed him that even if you go to the jungle, uh, here you will have one or two queen. You will you will have six queen in the jungle. Your six senses are the queen. You have to conquer them or you have to control them. <coughs> you have to deal with these six senses. Five senses six senses is five uh, senses or knowledge acquiring senses, and sixth one is mind. So these are the wives of wives. Tell them what to call right now. You will call again. Yes, sir. So Unko Bolo keep calling. Yes, yes, sir. Bol diya. Dala. Okay. Go officer group. Okay. <coughs> so even if you go to jungle and renounce everything, you still will have travel because you have four months. Four months. Four months. Hare Krishna Parvati Dalit Panna Parvati Guru Maharaj ki kilas chal rahi hai. Aap chhe baje ke baad call karna. Okay. So, uh, uh, if you call, if you go to the forest, then also you will have six wives with you. So, no matter what you do, uh, you will have to learn to deal with these with these wives here or there. So then, Maharaj Priyavrat, after so much instruction coming from Manu Maharaj. As Brahmaji, his grandfather, he uh, decided to get married and he had two wives. Uh, from one wife, he had 10 sons, and from other wife, he had uh, Angrindra, three sons, Angrindra and Raivat and uh, Tamas. So these three sons of Maharaj Priyavrat was very exalted sons and they uh, they they became the man, manu manuantar uh, manuantar three manuantars are on their name also so they are very exalted personality and then on the other we queen here ten sons and out of them seven became the renunciate and uh, 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 Became three became sannyasi, and last. last three became sannyasi. So Mataji is helping me. Wonderful. It is. We are always, uh, you know, uh, two bell of one card, going together, pulling together. Good. So Maharat Priya Varat uh, dynasty was very very exalted dynasty. Uh, just like uh, Rishabhadev, uh, Lord Rishabhadev uh, was, was the incarnation of Krishna. 
and also um, Prithu Maharaj, who is also Satya Vishwata of Krishna. They appeared in this dynasty. And uh, uh, this uh, Raivat and all the other three Manus, and so many uh, good, uh, good uh, uh, incarnations of Krishna took place. Even nine Yogendra, we have seen into 11th Kanto, nine Yogendra, Nabi Maharaj, he also appeared. So this King Rishabhadev, you already gone through his teachings to his hundred sons, Nayam Deho Deha Bhajam Nuloke Kastan Kaman Arati Vidbhujami Tapo Divyam Putra Kaen Sujin Asma Brahma Sukhyam Tvanantam. That uh, the Nayam Deho Deha Bhajam, Rishabhadev says, Nayam Deho Deha Bhajam Nuloke Kastan Kaman Arati Vidbhujami. That this material happiness is available to even with bhujam. With bhujam matlab meaning that uh, stool eating animals like hogs and dogs. So they uh, get the same pleasure as human being. So what is the difference? Nayam deho deho bhajan. Yes. Kastan kamani rati bhujami. Tapo Divyam Putraka. So that's why, hey, my dear uh, sons, please perform austerity. Tapashya, Tapo Dua, Tapo. So, uh, Tapo Divyam Putraka in a Subdhini Asmad. Brahma so Kyamto Anantam, by which you will get the spiritual bliss. Brahma so spiritual bliss, anantam, in unending spiritual bliss you will get. So please uh, try to to the, spirit, the spiritual uh, tap, austerities. They are people, mostly the yogis are material austerities they perform. By performing material austerities, uh, they do get some siddhis, uh, like prapti siddhi, anima, lagima, uh, aisita, vasita, vagira, anyway. <coughs> so, what is the use of these siddhis who can uh, divert you from mainstream pure Krishna consciousness? And that's why tapo divyam, you should, you should engage yourself in the Spiritual. Next look. Next look. So one must engage in the spiritual activity. So this is the teaching of Lord Rishabhadev, who is incarnation of Krishna. He says, You have gone through this, uh, but. Uh, it's very nice to uh, hear it again. Mahat sevam dwaram ahur vimukte tamo dwaram yosita sanyi sangam. He says that one must serve the exalted devotees, exalted personality of Godhead, exalted devotees of the Godhead. Mahat seva dwaram ahur vimukte by serving pure devotees of the Lord, one can uh, wide open the uh, gateway to, uh, to Guru Krindavan, Mahat Seva, Dwaram Ahur Mukte. Chariya Vaishnava Seva, Nistar Paive Keva. Without serving the pure devotees, Vaishnavas, one cannot, one cannot uh, uh, attain this kingdom of God. Mahat Seva Dwaram Aur Vimukti. So 
चाड़िया वैष्णव सेवा निस्तार पाई बेकेवा Without serving devotees of the Lord, one cannot uh, one cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Go look at that one. Tandera Sarana Sevi, Tandera Charana Sevi, Bhakta Sanevas, Janame Janame Hoy, E Abilas. So we have to take quality the association of pure devotees of the Lord. Pure devotees of the Lord are always there on our planets, but due to our contaminated eyes, mind, thinking, our consciousness is contaminated, existence is contaminated. We cannot recognize the pure devotees. Even today in his con. There are many, 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 not one, ten, hundred, many pure devotees. We have to, we have to open our eyes, spiritualize our consciousness, elevate our consciousness. Then we can see these pure devotees who we can render our transcendental loving devotion service. This is Mad Seva, Dwaram Aur Mukti. Rajobi Sekam, Vina Mahatpad Rajobi Sekam, Rahugam Raja. Without smearing our body with the transcendental uh, dust of the lotus feet of pure devotees, Vaishnavas, uh, we cannot uh, make any uh, spiritual advancement, cannot enter into the uh, spiritual world. Mahat Seva Dwaram. So, Kita Janma Hu Yathatu Yadas, Bahir Mukha Brahma Jarminahi Yadas. So, Kita Janma into the home of your pure devotees. Why? So that I can, I can serve them, or I can take the remnants, or I can behold them. Or be with them. Hare Krishna Prabhu Ji, Dhan Panam Prabhu Ji, Guru Maharaj Ji, Kilas Chal Rhi. Aap saare saath badi ke baad kaam karna. Tumhat seva dwaram aur vimukte, tamo dwaram yositha sangi sangam. Yositha is stri for stri. Purush or Purush is three, the lusty people. So Tamodvaram, Tamodvaram, Yosita Sangi Sangam, Tamodvaram, Yosita Sangi Sangam. So uh, Mahantante Samachitta Prashanta Viman Vaya Suruda Sadhavu so, uh, very, very uh, nice instruction that one has to serve the sadhu. And uh, he further says, Nunam pramatto kurute vikarmo yat pritaya atmanuti. Na sadhu manye yat atmanoyam. Asana picha asadiha. When a person considers sense gratification is the aim of life, he certainly becomes mad after materialistic living. Nunam pramattu. Nunam pramattu. Pramattu ho jai. He becomes pramattu. Becomes mad after materialistic life. Nunam pramattu. Kurute vikarma. And then he engages in all scrupulous activity. All, all activities which are Sinful. Nunam pramattu kurute vikarma. Yat prita ya atma So, uh, the, uh, to satisfy his own senses, he is, he is always getting into this uh, sinful activities. So, he is giving beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, advice to his son, uh, Rishabhadeva. 
so we have to so we have to uh, see how the dynasty of king priyavrat is so pure and so exalted rushabadev like prabhu says in the purport that in his swa ikshvaku dynasty ragu dynasty lord ramchandra was born and in rusni dynasty yadu rusni uh, lord krishna appeared similarly in maharaj priyavrat dynasty uh, rushabadev raja rushabadev king and also rushabadev uh, and prutu maharaj nain yogendra in nabi and rushabadev married uh, jayanti daughter of king indra and uh, she gave birth to so many exalted hundred uh, sons uh, uh, to rushabadev and rushabadev is instructing those hundred son here and uh, a very beautiful dynasty of king priyavrat so in his kingdom uh, you will uh, there was darkness night so to eradicate this some places huh? some places, some places there, there were night so so anyway to illuminate whole earth globe he he had a big huge chariot and with his chariot he made a seven island and seven ocean and even to protect bharat varsha uh, he had a himalayan so many mountains he created himalayan mountains and the border line to bharat varsha himalayan mountains and all oceans around bharat varsha and uh, there was a beautiful uh, kingdom uh, uh, in the reign of priyavrat maharaj he ruled for so many uh, so many upwards uh, uh, of years so many so so uh, parikshit maharaj also asked this question uh, uh, that uh, how he was he was uh, very much fixed in krishna consciousness he did not wanted to get married and still he had to he got two wives and why is that so so and then he renounced again and then he renounced again <laughs> yes so uh, the the answer to this question is that uh, so many kings they are very much renounced but because of the uh, because of the instruction and order of superior they have to engage themselves in uh, in married life and uh, yes so but while uh, while carrying out the uh, duty of king uh, he was always uh, remaining krishna conscious like uh, amrish maharaj and adhyadeshwar maharaj and parikshit maharaj and pralad maharaj dhru maharaj pralad maharaj dhru maharaj they ruled for so many uh, so many millions of years but without attachment to any material things without attachment to the worldly things they were, they remain krishna conscious and they made their uh, their praja <coughs> krishna conscious and uh, uh, that's how they rule for so many uh, millions of years by remaining detached from material life nabis first son was bharat nabis first son was bharat nabis first son son was bharat was bharat yeah <coughs> so king nabi who had a first son and that is bharat maharaj rushabdev 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 had a first son and that is 
elder son, Bharat Maharaj. So we know the story of Bharat Maharaj, how he ruled, and then he, at the end, give up his kingdom, and then he became attached to the deer, uh, and then he forgot Krishna consciousness, and so on and so forth. So the, in the name of Bharat Maharaj, this uh, whole, whole uh, Bharat Varsh was named after that. Uh, and even today we use the word Bharat for India. So this is the story of all Krishna conscious kings. Uh, so the king has to be Krishna conscious, the administrator, and he has to be an advisory council, which is Brahmanical advisory council. So this is a spiritual management. Spiritual management means the head of the state and he's advised by Brahmanas, Vaishnavas special. And he takes advice of Vaishnavas. So uh, this is spiritual management. And Prabhupada have similar kind of uh, setup for his con also. Uh, so we have to uh, we have to become totally Krishna conscious in this very life, control our mind, control our senses, and think that we are born. Actually, we are born in the King Priyavrat, Priyavrat Maharaj's kingdom. We are in his kingdom. And we can uh, narrow it down. We can uh, blindfold ourselves uh, in his kingdom and not get affected by this onslaught of materialism and uh, uh, remain Krishna conscious and go back to home, back to Godhead. This is the sloka for today. I will stop here. Uh, any question? Otherwise, we can terminate the class. Thank you very much. Sila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Aap Sab Vaishnav Bhakti Vandhi Ki Jai. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Beautiful class and very enlightening. Um, I, I request a devotee. If anybody have any questions, questions, please raise their hands. We can unmute for you. Hare Krishna, Danvat Pranam, Guru Maharaj, all glories to Guru and Guranga. Um, Maharaj, this is Manharini Devidasi from Houston, and uh, it was a wonderful class. Thank you so much. Uh, it is Vadashi here, so it was such a bliss to hear from you. Uh, my question is uh, how to control the senses when we are still in material world and we are, you know, desperately trying to work our way through it. So, you know, all the three taps are still bothering us. So what is the best way? The best way is uh, we have to uh, elevate our consciousness to Krishna consciousness. So the more you are Krishna conscious, the more you have fixed up yourself to nay and hey, no and Yes, so many things we have to say no. Many, many things we have, to, we have to say no to that. And we have to become determined, nischayat, dhairya, utsah. So utsah and nischay. We have to have a very, very high level of enthusiasm to advance in Krishna consciousness. We have to throw away those things which not allow us to, to focus and elevate our uh, selves to Krishna consciousness. Throw that into the garbage immediately without question. Nishche, strong determination. I don't want to do this anymore and finish, stop. So that is Nishche, strong determination. We have to, uh, we have to say no to uh, whatever nonsense is coming to our mind and senses and intelligence even. So we have to say no, we have to fix all these things ahead of time. Just resolve yourself, make a resolution, write it down, 
and just say bye to that nonsense forever. Otherwise, puna musika bhava, you become mouse again and again and again. So you have to fix uh, your mind and you have, to, you have to determine yourself, get determined. You have to strongly uh, say no to many things. And I'm not going to do this, finished. So that is Nishchai and then Utsa. We have to show utmost enthusiasm, enthusiasm. And enthusiasm comes from the association of uh, those exalted devotees who are most enthusiastic, very enthusiastic. So association of enthusiastic, exalted personalities. So uh, Utsa, we have to have lots of uh, lots of utsa, enthusiasm. And then Tiraj, yes, I will make back to home. Back. I will become pure devotee of love one day. But that one day will not be the next birth, this birth. You have to see your chart, whether I'm progressing towards pure Krishna consciousness day by day or not. So utsaham nishaya dhairiya. Tata tata karma pravartana. Every single minute, we have to keep hearing. Keep hearing lectures, kirtan. Kirtan, lectures. Keep hearing. You should not waste your time without hearing a single moment. We have to increase our attachment and increase our uh, time period to hear. That's uh, driving, you can hear. Taking bath, you can hear. By cooking, by cleaning pots, by mopping, you can hear. By driving, you can hear. Uh, while getting up, you can hear. While sleeping, you can keep hearing and turn off your machine when you wake up again. So you have to maximize hearing and hearing should be quality hearing. Hear from pure Vaishnavas, especially Sri Prabhupada. One must hear Srila Prabhupada day in and day out. So, Utsaha, Nichiya, Dhairiya, Tata Tata Karma, Pravartana, Sangati Agat. We have to abandon the company of nonsense because that wastes our time. It's wasting our time. The biggest nonsense nowadays is WhatsApp and, and uh, Telegram and uh, Facebook and uh, you name it, YouTube and uh, if you are not uh, using it nicely, properly, then you can go other side of the scale also on, on these gadgets. These gadgets can be used in Krishna consciousness. It's a very good asset, actually. We see that uh, now we are on this gadget associating with so many people across the globe. But uh, these gadgets can also go to the negative side. So we have to say nonsense to so many nonsense. So, Dhariya Tata Tata Karma Pravartana Sangatya Gade abandoned the company of non devotees. Of course, in the family, if you have uh, some uh, you know, people, I'm not saying to you, but other family, so many families have uh, so many restrictions also we have seen. So uh, you have to do the best. Don't rock a boat within family uh, so that it becomes totally uncomfortable and th they throw you out of family or something. You have to keep balance there. But otherwise, you know, throw away all nonsense, association. Sangati Aga, Satogrutte. And associate with previous Uruvarti Acharya, previous, previous Acharyas. Sorry, I want to give uh, time to other people also. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Any other question? Yeah, thank you, Prabhuji. And one more, Mataji. Meena Mataji, you can go ahead, Mataji. Mm 
मेरा माता जी आ रहे थे इन चैट वन माता जी इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन प्रभु जी आई विल रीड दैट क्वेश्चन मीन हरे कृष्णा गुरु महाराज धनवत प्रणाम वंडरफुल क्लास How can we reduce our attachment to material world and divert it towards Krishna from Jyoti Mai Radhika? I think it is the same question, a little reword, a little differently. So the same answer that I would give. So please hear to that question, previous question, the answer to previous question. Any other question, please? If not, so we can terminate. Yes, Mr. Prabhuji. Before this, if nobody have any questions, we can end the call here. Thank you so much, Prabhuji, for enlightening class today. We are very grateful to you, and we look forward to your association again and again in the future. Let's pay our obeisances to Prabhuji and all assembled devotees. Pancha kalpa taru besha krupa sindhu evacha kapita nam pavan rupiyo vaishna vyo go namaha. Anta kod vaishna runda ki jai. Grantra Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai. Srila Prabhupad ki jai. श्रीमान कृतुदास अधिकारी प्रभु जी की जय सो मच महाराज हरे कृष्ण महाराज हरे कृष्ण गुरु महाराज धन्यवाद